You got a promotion and you are very nervous. Yes. <laughs> got it, got it. So now, what we, when we look at the process, the issue, she got a promotion, it's not actually an issue, but <laughs> it's perceived as one because it's bringing up a negative experience that should be a positive experience. So the issue is that she got a promotion. But there's a lot of stress associated with that. Okay, so there's a reason for that. And the intention is gonna be that we would like you to feel more confident now in this new role that you can do this. Yeah? yeah. Perfect. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to get the emotion. So if you want to follow in page 53, for example, or um, I just wrote that there for me, you can follow that too. Page 53. So what we're going to do now, I just want to grab a pen here so that I can make my notes. All right. So Inga, are you are you comfortable with visualizing or feeling or sensing? Like if I'm going to give you an exercise to connect to an image for me, would you do you feel comfortable doing that? I'm not visual. Visual, yes. perfect. Yes. Great. I like to check that with the client just to get a feeling for how do they sense, feel, see, or hear, so that I can give them the right exercise. Okay. So if someone is auditorial, which very rarely happens, but if it's the case. I will tell them to imagine that you can hear that you're now in this new environment, you can hear the new instructions being given to you, you can hear how your you can hear your new thoughts while you're there. How does that make you feel? Because she's visual, perfect. We're gonna to go to the white room. Right? Alright, so I invite you just to follow the process with me and you'll I will explain to you everything that's gonna happen, how we're gonna do it, and what I need from you step by step so you can follow me. You're comfortable with that? Yes. Yes, okay. I guess. <laughs> I guess. Okay. Inga, I would like you to close your eyes and just relax. Okay. Just take a nice deep breath and just relax. Oh, nice. Perfect. Now what I would like you to do is visualize a beautiful white empty room. Let me know when you're there. And now as you're in this room, I would like you to see yourself in this new role. Or you can even go back to that moment when you heard, oh my God, I got the promotion. Just going a little bit back to that time when you got the good news, but then you also had that that wave of stress come. Take your time. Let me know when you have it. <coughs> yes. Perfect. What did it emotionally feel like? I say emotions so that the client knows what I'm looking for, so that they don't give you a story. What emotions did you feel at that time? I felt alone. Ah. Oh. Right. Mm -hmm. Panic. Perfect. I'm actually going to write on the board so you can follow me. Perfect. Stay with us. I really felt alone. So with that aloneness and panic, what else did you feel? Um, unworthiness. And as you're feeling that aloneness, the panic and the unworthiness, how does your body physically respond? What is your instinctive responses? Normally I wouldn't say instinctive responses when I work with a client. I would say how does your body physically respond? Do you feel numb, like running, freezing? 
because that already connects into the instinctive responses. If they still feel confused, then I'll say, we're looking now for instinctive responses. Um, I have felt, I'm not sure if it's freeze or numb. Well, let's say both. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> if in doubt, just take both. So when we feel these emotions, when we become aware of them again, the panic and the aloneness and the unworthiness, where is the home for it in your body? In my heart or my throat? And when you feel it in your throat and in your heart, do you feel it inside or outside of the body? Uh, the throat is inside, mm -hmm. uh, and the heart is both. I was hoping for that. You can have both. So we have a soul copy, have a trauma transfer, and there's also a emotional trauma and stress for her. This is perfect. Got it. So heart, soul copy. We can treat it as a trauma transfer as well. You can't go wrong with this. Just throw it in there. Just throw the trauma transfer in there. Okay, perfect. So when we connect to this presence outside of the heart, just be playful. Whose face do you see that you know, or voice do you hear that you know? Uh, mom's? Uh -huh. <clears throat> Got it. And how's mom feeling in that soul copy? Very insecure. Okay. What else? Is there anything else? If not, it's okay. Insecurity is yeah. the perfect answer. And alone. Ah. God. Beautiful. So Inga, as you're looking at that moment where you got that promotion, we're back in the white room. Okay, so we're shifting back to that. As you're looking at that moment, what did you emotionally need, a positive need, when you were told, you got this, but then you felt that stress? What did you emotionally need? Yeah, just uh, to know that I will be okay. <laughs> Reassurance. Yes, reassurance. Got it. Is it okay now if I connect with you and we start the healing process? Yes. yes. She's ready. It's perfect. So what I'm going to do now is I would like you to actually stay in that room with me. If you, if you lose the image of that moment when you got the promotion every mm -hmm. now and then, that's okay. Okay, don't worry. There's no wrong way for you to do that. You can just stay in the white room then and just hang out hang out. Also just stay aware of the emotions that you're feeling. You're doing great. This is perfect. Okay. I'm going to connect with you. I'm going to do the process with you 100%. I'm also going to talk to the students and take them through the process, but I'm still here with you 100%. There we go. Sorry if I didn't, I deliberately did not, because when I saw they wanted to grab the tissues, I'm like, no! <laughs> what happens, it's okay. What happens is that we can give her one now. <laughs> now she can have one. <laughs> the client has to ask for the tissues. If you give it, you, it disrupts the cycle. Good luck getting them back into that state. You have a fired up limbic system. Yes, that's what you want. <laughs> Give a tissue, it's okay. Same thing, putting the blanket on a client that's traumatized after an accident, Ugh. right? It locks it in. If anything, you want to be a trauma practitioner to be there to help the person deal with it in that moment. Of course, but that, that's life, it doesn't happen. So the blanket's a great bypass. But it's important to go back to that moment and address it. 
Okay, so I wasn't I wasn't being a cow. I'm sorry if you <laughs> felt that I was. No, I'm just feeling <laughs> like that, so. Okay, good, good. How are you? What was your process? What would what did you hear, feel, see, or sense? I'm curious. Yeah, step by step, I felt becoming calmer mm -hmm. and a strange feeling of um, getting tall. Beautiful. I felt like I'm really tall. Yeah. And I could feel my arms again. So Beautiful. Nice. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I still felt a little in the stomach. We didn't in work the on the stomach, no. but there is now. Yeah, when you uh, mentioned emotions like the worthiness and <laughs> ah, I then it came up. Flare up again ah, on the stomach. So. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Well, we'll go back to that. Okay. Yeah. What else? What else do you feel? Really calm. Uh, like weight is off my shoulders. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So now. Let's, so now she already told me where it is. It's in the stomach. There's discomfort in the stomach. Psychosomatically, I know what's happening there already. But let's, let's explore that. Are you ready? Yes. Perfect. So I feel myself getting really small. Perfect. Accompanied with those emotions. Pardon? Accompanied with those emotions. Perfect. Right. And also when you feel, this would be why I don't what you said. So when you feel those emotions that are in the stomach, is it, so it's inside, but is there any aspect of it that's outside? Yes, outside. Okay, perfect. And so when we feel it outside, whose voice do you hear that you know, or face do you see that you know? Mm. Be playful. Yeah. Both my mother and my grandmother. Oh, okay. curious and I'm going to show you now how you can be playful how you can really be creative because mom came up a second time how's your relationship with your mom mm. uh, dependent there's dependence mm. do you feel that she's the, the, that she has a strong hold on you okay Plot twist. See how you can play. I'm going to show you how you can play. Let's go back to the white room. Are you ready? Yes. Let's do it. Because she is feeling so much of her mom's stuff because of that strong emotional bond as well. And this trauma transfer. Right? That's obvious. Mom, grandma, it's right there. Okay. How do you feel when you see me? Just, just two emotions. I feel responsible and sad. Is it your sadness or her sadness? It's her sadness. See now how you have a structure, but now you're gonna play with your tools and you can throw them in wherever you feel like. Wherever you feel like. All right, you have your structure, have fun. Be flexible. This technique is designed for you to be flexible. Do I have your permission now to help you to release that sadness of mom that's within you? And also feeling that of responsibility that you have towards her, is that okay? Can I also do this connection between you and mom? It's gonna be really good. Oh my God, mom, what do you need from mom? Because that's the hook. The first thing that comes to mind is reassurance. Okay. Or confidence. Reassurance? I'm going to go with reassurance. Okay, there's a thing. Okay, needing reassurance from mom. Because her mom needed reassurance from her. So they were mirroring each other. She started copying her mom's coping mechanisms and behavior 
of needing reassurance. When my mom panics, she needs reassurance. Okay, I'll, I'll copy that. Children intuitively and psychically copy this. That's why it's also called trauma transfer. You're doing great, okay? Is it okay if, if we heal this now? Yes? I'm gonna do the emotional healing first. So now we're gonna, I'm just gonna address the sadness. I acknowledge that sadness is a symptom, but we already, I already know that the sadness is a symptom of the lack of reassurance, the lack of support, the insecurity. Ultimately, the sadness is the end result of feeling helpless because she, that she and her mom didn't have access to more positive emotional resources in order to manage the situations and circumstances that made them feel alone and powerless and unworthy okay. and panicked. Okay. So I'm just going to go quiet for one minute. I'm still here with you 100%. We're going to start the process now, okay? I'm going to do the healing first. We're going to do that in the stomach. Where do you feel the sadness? How are you? <clears throat> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> my fear of promotion. <laughs> I feel uh, very relieved. Good. Um, yeah, like so I could hear the sounds in the room much clearer. So oh, wow. That's also for me a sense of calmness. Uh, oh, okay, good. Clarity, it's, a, so, it's a good yeah. feeling. Good. Perfect. Uh, I felt definitely uh, a great healthy shift between me and my mother. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Yeah. 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 And how do you emotionally feel? Uh, yeah, calm. calm? Yeah. And how do you know that you feel calm? Uh, because yeah, I, nothing is there. <laughs> oh, perfect. Yeah. I like to ask that question, how do you know? To make really double sure that they're not, because we have different definitions of calmness. What's calm for Armand could, or Armand could be completely chaotic for me. It's like... <laughs> okay. Okay. Heaviness, relaxed, beautiful, don't be sure. Yeah. Yeah. And so how do you feel now when you think back to that promotion? <laughs> Excited. <laughs> and you should be. Yeah. <laughs> It's the next yeah. phase of success that you're creating for yourself. It's not about the company, it's about you. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> Yay, yeah. well done, Thank give you. an applause.